Welcome back to chapter 7. It's the eclipse. I've got my eclipse glasses on, but in northern Utah it's not going to be a full eclipse. So with these glasses you can see me, but I cannot see you. It is a little dimmer, but like going back to the past, it may be a little dimmer for us too. So join me this October as we try to shed some light on Benny Amino's past, his past, and I mean his past before he lived in Ogden. Let's see what we can find. Uh, yes, I would like uh, two tickets to the past. Okay. Uh -huh. Hey, I got the two tickets to the past, and I'm out waiting in the back. This is the back of the train station, and this is the past, back when Benny Obino was alive. This is what it looked like, this would have been the platform along, along the building here. And I've got a few pictures like any good tourist going to show you a slideshow. So just while I was waiting for the train, got to take a few selfies, right? Got the train to the past and the first stop was to uh, New York. And this was the actual boat, the SS Lorraine, that Benny Albino sailed over the seas to America on. Here's a... Uh, oh. Yeah. Had to take a few with myself in the back over in the old country. But here's, uh, this is the, the country that he lived in. Here is the town that he uh, lived in before he came to America. Beautiful area there in the Alps. Um, it's Sorelli. It's found on several uh, of the documents that we turned up with him. You know, from the past, it pointed, uh, or that it mentioned that his hometown was Shirelli. And this is kind of the area right here. His uh, parents lived here. And if you take this little section here and put it in the map, this is um, where it is over here. You can see Venice down here. And, you know, so this is where, this is where he grew up. And then uh, you may be interested, the, the people in the cemetery buried next to him, you know, this was his headstone. Uh, this was his cousin's. And he grew up just right in the outskirts of Shirelli. And interesting, I found out that his wife didn't come to America, but she stayed back. And she um, um, ended up just living her whole life and dying there alone. And he died over here in Ogden, Utah. And him and the his name was, you know, they went by Dan and he went by Ben, but uh, they worked together and lived close by each other. And then um, this headstone is his son's, uh, Dan's son. And then this headstone is his son, who was born here in Ogden. So that is a little bit about the people that uh, Benny Abino was buried next to and where they came from. And so this was, when we go back into his town, this is the actual train station uh, that he would have waited for the train on. Um, you can see it was built uh, just after he was born. Maybe uh, he might have been 12 or so by the time they finished the station. But this was his uh, hometown train station. Oh, there's another fun one with the Alps in the back. And then here's just a few screenshots from his hometown. Um, this is a chapel there or a church, and there's a few of them there. Um, this is inside the same church. You know, maybe this is the one that he went to when he was young. Here's the cemetery in his hometown. This is a, a view 
this actually might even be a view from up by the church here. I've got uh, Google to show you around a little bit here next with the Google Maps. Oh, and then one more by the church. <laughs> okay, who wants a ghost eye view of, of where he lived and maybe see some pictures that we could just fly up to. So everybody knows where Dennis is, right? He lived, he grew up in this area right up in here, maybe uh, 60 miles out of Venice. So let's just hover like a ghost. And here is Shirley, and we'll just kind of drill in on it. So this is his town, um, about 1,200 people. At the bottom of the screen, you should be able to see some of the uh, the sites in that area and so i'll just click on a few this would be the the cemetery kind of a cool looking cemetery and look at the beautiful mountains in the back and let's see what else we can find this will just take us to a the street view and zoom around with this picture Amazing country. Here's another of uh, just a street view. Let's see what this one will let us do. A vineyard. But this will give you an idea about the kind of, of the town that. He grew up in, he must have walked some of these streets, seen some of these buildings, hiked some of these mountains. Okay, let's move on. Um, that's a little bit about his town. You saw where he lived, um, the, the area, beautiful area. What, you know, you ask, what would have caused him to leave? And so there, there's a couple of things. I spent a few hours looking at all the information online. This is a uh, Wikipedia, you know, so here you go. Watch this real quick there. You know, that took hours to go through all that. Um, I, I made a lot of notes. I read, I went to several sites. Um, here's a, some of my handouts. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger. And so I, I got a ton of stuff on that. Let me just summarize it real quick because it would scare you to death if I went through and tried to um, give you a history lesson of the whole the whole country. A couple of points I was just going to point out. It was right before World War I broke out that he left. Uh, he left um, seven years before the war broke out. And so there was a lot going on politically in that time period. Uh, there were also a lot of um, poor people. In, in that area and America had a you know the opportunity of a lifetime to ah help ah, I'm alive down here help I'm still alive, alive down here ah, I'm still alive I'm alive down here. I'm still alive. Do you ever feel like you're buried six feet under in records? I did as I was trying to find all this information for Benny Amino. It was everywhere and there was nowhere to put it. I was literally buried. So welcome to chapter seven where we'll discover what to do with all this information. I'm back. I was able to dig myself out of the six foot hole I was in, piled up with records on top of me. Luckily for me, I knew of a tool that helped me dig myself out. It's a free tool that's available in Family Search. It's called the Source Box. It's a place where you can put all your records if you don't know where else you want to put them. For example, if you don't have anyone set up in Family Search like Benny Amino was, I couldn't attach anything to someone that didn't exist, right? And so luckily I was able to still put these records still 
somewhere where I could find them and come back for them without having to search for them again and again and again. So as I found these records, I put them into uh, the source box and then I moved on and looked for other records. And then later when I was able to finally set him up and find his parents, I attached him to his, I set up a, a file for him and put him in a family. And then I went in and took all the sources and put them in the source box. But rather than just keep talking about this, let me just show you what I did. And so I am gonna go to my family search and just show you uh, my source box. So let me watch, let's watch this quick little video of, of me doing this. So this just describes what the source box is. Now let's just take a quick tour of the family search. We'll just go into family search. They are eager to have this come in. I have to warn you though, there are a lot of dead people in family search. Let's just take a quick tour. And then I'm gonna stop and show you my source box. I think you'll like this tool. Okay, so here's the source uh, uh, books, box, source box. So here are my sources in my source box. There's the naturalization, uh, my favorite, the death certificate that I found and added in there. Uh, here's his draft registration card, his address, his um, payroll slips and then i've got a whole bunch of other ones that i'm going to show you you know what let's get out of here this place let's just get out of here i'll show you a an easier way to do it if you go into familysearch.org um, right you can see um, I've set up Benny Albino October 15. Um, I did find his parents, and now he is part of a family. There is his brother. And once I set him up, I took all the sources that I had found and I added them here to his source, um, his records. And let me show you where the source box is online. If you just click on your name, in the upper right corner and just go down a little bit you'll see source box these are all the sources that i've found and then you can see on the left here there's okay, let's click on him this is a folder that i set up for him and then as i found the sources i just threw them in here until i needed them so here's the source boxes and all the records just to keep me organized so I am no longer buried. It's no fun when you're buried alive. I hope you use this source box. It's been excellent for me. Holy cow, this eclipse is amazing. Wink, wink. Anyway, it's so dark I can see the stars. It's almost like it's six in the morning. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Uh, the eclipse is amazing. Family search is amazing. You're all amazing. Uh, join me next week as I uh, wrap this uh, final, uh, uh, final video up in the series of four books or four coffins. And we'll be uh, exploring, uh, trying to redeem the dead a little bit further into temple work. And I guarantee you, the sun, the sun will be up next week. So for now, bye. Bye now.